Just completely slander Asmongold. What is this? Hey guys, real quick, this is the Hassan Piker subreddit. This user with a name that I cannot say made like a semi highly upvoted post or whatever on the subreddit. Most people are laying into Asmongold, and if somebody Ooh. hates Asmongold, I was, you know, looking to, uh, looking to find something funny I could post to Twitter. I think that'd be good. Um, and this is not that. Now, Asmongold gave an incredible take on Russell Brand, and I need you to see how hard this Hassan fan fucking clipped this to, like, make him look like he's, like, Pro rape or something like he's an insane what? fucking thing. I, I haven't seen something clip this bad. What? Obviously, a lot of people would instantly be? defend him, and then a lot of people also go and instantly attack him because yeah. Russell Brand is a polarizing guy. Uh, now, I actually kind of like Russell Brand and a lot of things that he said. Like, I have a positive it just cut Russell I see. Brand overall, right? I don't think yeah. he's a bad dude, if that makes sense. And I think that every single time that something like this happens and none of the accusations stick, mm -hmm. which I, I, I kind of think that they won't stick with Russell Brand. I'm going to be honest. I think they're not going to stick. I don't think he's going to go to jail. And if Russell Brand doesn't go to jail, then he didn't do it. Yep. Okay, that is like the hardest clip ever. Like that clip ends so ridiculously <laughs> hard, right? You can tell that there's just context missing. But because we're arguing with this straw Obviously, man, a lot of everybody on this fucking Reddit is like... How is that bad? Well, I mean, like, again, it is and it's not. So it shouldn't be bad, but it is because the justice system is inconsistent with punishment. So just because somebody gets away or somebody gets convicted doesn't necessarily mean justice was served, if that makes sense. That's why people are unhappy about it. This is the most brain dead take ever, and I uh, and only abuse simps preemptively state that a lack of guilty verdict is the same as innocent. Be a lack of guilty verdict is the same as innocence. Well, it is actually. Yeah, because you're innocent before proven guilty, or until proven guilty. Excuse me. Yeah. So, like, actually, ironic that they would say that. Yeah, very ironic. Basically, what this Hassan person wants you to think is that Asmund Gold has undying support in the <laughs> police. I don't know why. I don't know the justification, maybe it's just- Oh, I'll, I'll throw fuel on the fire. I am in general a supporter of the police. I think that we need them. I think the amount of escalation and hostility for the police has done no benefits for anybody in the culture. And it's been very bad. Uh, I think the best thing that we could do for the police is to have better accountability for them. I think every police officer should have a body cam. I think there should be much more accountability. There should be independent review from police officers for people that do things that are wrong. And I think this is in the benefit of everybody in society because whenever a police officer does something bad and they get sued, you, the taxpayer, pay for it. So yeah, I, I massively support the police and I also massively support accountability for the police. You need the police. Because he said he liked Russell Brand, so we had to slander him. But like this, more training too. Six months is not enough. I talked to somebody who was a police officer, and they said that six month or small time period of police training is actually, and I, I really, I'm not stating this as a fact. This is just what I've heard. So I, I don't, I'm not sure about this. But what they said is that there are different levels of police recommend, uh, police training requirements. There's like a federal requirement and a state requirement. And the other requirement, whichever one it is, is much more comprehensive. That's what they told me. So I'm not going to immediately take that number just as, as biblical fact, but I'm not saying that you're totally wrong either. I genuinely don't know. But I do think that it's more complicated. Whole post, several women have come forward about horrific <laughs> experiences. Why is it just so hard for people not to interrupt them? Yeah. I was hoping his take on Ruffle, Russell Brand would actually be incredible. Mm -hmm. I should have known better. His knowledge is only video games. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, none of these people know what he actually said, but we do. Take a look at It's impressive that people think that all I know is video games whenever they're on Reddit all day. Like, I, I, I've always found this to be odd that the people that are, like, terminally online think that they have any sort of a better grasp on things because they work some dead-end job us real fast and if russell brand doesn't go to jail then he didn't do it right that's and, and i'm not telling you like what well they I also forget um 
th there's also another component to this uh, where I was talking about how I liked Russell Brand. I also disclaimered that that I hadn't watched him in like over five years. So this isn't even the only part of it that's intentionally inaccurate. Uh, the beginning part is also inaccurate because I had explicitly stated I used to watch The Trues, which was a show that Russell Brand used to do like literally 10 years ago on YouTube, and I thought that was nice. Like, that was actually what I was talking about. I was contextualizing it around that. And I told people, like, explicitly I hadn't kept up with them for literally years. I think. I'm telling you what people are going to think. Is that if he doesn't go to jail, he didn't do it. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Yeah. So, if this goes and happens, uh, it's just going to be another point where people... Uh, it's going to strengthen people's reflex to automatically think that women are liars you see what i'm saying just yeah. like oj oj went to jail and also tons of people think oj didn't do it mm -hmm. also tons of people don't give the a bottle fuck. opener no it's a twist off. and also sexual crimes are seen differently than uh, violent on. crimes that's just the way society is his reputation's already mm -hmm. done because dude have you ever seen somebody clip so fucking maliciously they cut it on fucking this with Russell Brand. I'm going to be honest. I think they're not going to stick. I don't think he's going to go to jail. And if Russell Brand doesn't go to jail, then he didn't do it. Well, it was deliberately misrepresented two times. Uh, it, it, it deliberately misrepresented my opinion about Russell Brand, and it also deliberately misrepresented what my judgment of Russell Brand being guilty was. And this is just like, I, and again, like anybody can clip you out of context like this. Like, I don't really take this personally. I don't really... Like, I appreciate... I do. I, I appreciate Nicholas sticking up for me. This is this is nice to see. Uh, because I think everybody hates this shit. Even if it's somebody that you don't necessarily agree with, it's really annoying to see this. And so I, I, I do appreciate it. But the truth is that, like, this is what happens to me all the time. It happens to me constantly. And so I, I'm not, like... It's annoying to me. It's disappointing. But it's also expected. It's it's deliberate misinformation. It is. Holy fuck, dude! How do the mm -hmm. how does this like stay up? This has been up for ten hours. He isn't even very good at video games. He plays a lot, but doesn't hold any ranks. People like him because I, I love how people view being good at video games or being bad at video games as like a personal, um, like a personal flaw. Like this is like a. Like a personal shortcoming. You're not you're not even good at video games. What? It's a video game. <laughs> what do you mean? He embodies the man child pseudo intellectual that personifies mm -hmm. many men and children on the road. Oh Yeah, they think I'm, he's a right, I'm right winger, wing. so yeah. you get to lie about him. Like this is mm -hmm. just fucking psychotic, dude. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, people are very unhappy about that. Are you just waiting for a special moment to attack you and hate you for no reason? Go figure. I mean, I don't really take any of this stuff personally. It's just kind of how things go. Um, you know, a lot of times people get pissed off about this kind of stuff and, and everything like that. It's just, uh, it's very common. And whenever you're online and you're talking about, you know, like the Russell Brand thing is a really big hot button issue. So people are really emotionally invested in it. So the moment that I don't immediately say the exact fucking line that's going to make them happy, they assume that I'm pro-rape. And so that's just, I mean, people are just like, they're so emotionally conditioned to react like a psychotic, vitriolic child anytime that they hear something that isn't in line with the propaganda that they're used to feeding themselves. So, I mean, again, like, I, I don't really take this kind of stuff personally. I appreciate Nicholas calling it out. And the truth is that I see this stuff all the time. Uh, it happens, uh, like, different newspapers will misrepresent, or not newspapers, right? They're mainly online places. Uh, will, like, misrepresent something I say or take something out of context. Uh, the truth is that it really doesn't affect me, and it doesn't really matter because... The way that I look at it is that I know what I'm saying is accurate. I know what I'm saying is true. And I know that I'm not a bad person. I know that I'm not a malicious, bad actor. 
So anytime that somebody misrepresents me or says something like that, I just assume that the truth will prevail eventually. And if it doesn't, it doesn't matter because I'm still gonna go live today, whatever that day is gonna be. I'm still gonna do what I'm gonna do. I'm still gonna play the games. I'm still gonna watch what I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna play what I'm gonna play. And there's nothing they can fucking do about that. So if people wanna cry and get mad about what I say on Twitter, then that's their problem and not mine. Like a lot of times I don't even read these threads. They're not even worth my time. Sometimes I do, but you know, usually uh, I don't. I, I, I like reading 4chan threads about myself more because at least those people are more entertaining and more interesting. Redditors are just very, uh, very moral grandstandy. I don't like that. I find it to be very, um, you know, because like you have like a profile on Reddit. So like people feel like they have like this obligation to say the right thing. But on 4chan, you can just say whatever you want and there's no accountability for it. So it actually makes people a lot more free and funnier. Yeah, it's so pretentious. Yeah, it's so self-righteous. I, I, I just, I don't like them. That goes for your subreddit as well? Well, I mean, my subreddit is on Reddit. So of course there's going to be people like that on my Reddit. Yeah. Uh, they're mad at me because I said Dragon's Dogma 2 looks good. Oh, it does look good. Yeah, I, I think it does. It, it's, it's crazy that so many people, like, get that upset. And, like, any time that people, they, they agree, they just hate that you like it, too. So, like, they hate that they have to true me. <laughs> there has been an update. There has been a situation. Unity has released an open letter to their community. I'm Mark Whitman, and 